All right, be normal. This is normal. Guys, we're back. We're gonna do another super dope home tour here in Sedona, Red Rock Country. I had a little snafu when I went off road, so I gotta change this tire, but let's do that and let's hit the trail. The views are pretty fantastic. There are no other properties in the area. All right, guys, um, behind me is an unknown bedroom, unknown bathroom, property that was built sometime in the mid 60s. Apparently, some dude named Elvis lived here. I guess he was filming a movie here called Stay Away Joe, probably one of his worst movies that he ever made. When somebody scratched my back, I got an itch. <laughs> I can't really find any other information on this property on the MLS or Zillow or Redfin, which is pretty strange, but let's go check it out and at least see what the rooms look like. We just came in. We're in what appears to be the kitchen. It looks like the sellers didn't do much to clean up, which is fine. We can see the bones. We can make out the general idea of what's supposed to be here. So it looks like you're gonna have to work for your water usage a lot here. I don't know the water source, but um, hopefully it's coming straight down from some aquifer. The style itself is definitely the mid-century modern steel shelves with this nice little chrome inlay. Looks like the dishwasher is missing. The original sellers probably took that with them. What? Dude, I want some pencils. Huh? I am fearful of the amount of rodents and reptilian in here, so I do hope that whoever buys this property will pay for an abatement service. So lighting does come at a premium here. The two natural light sources that we have kind of look like the portholes on a boat. All right, let's see if the cellar left any waters for us or anything, but nope, just a bad smell. This is pretty cool, dude, super luxe. I think all in all in this kitchen, it's a great use of space. It is dirty, but you can overlook that. And if you just can't make it, downstairs to the bathroom, you just go in this very sketchy hole that leads to the devil's dungeon. Another cool feature off the grid style is you have your own water pump here. Very rudimentary. This is the pump itself. You got the electricity in there and then some of the valves to turn off and on the water. Not something you see every day except on maybe an old 50s Cadillac. So now we are in the tiny functional living room. Got this very cool fireplace. Looks like there's signs of a fresh burn in there. We also have a lot of closeted space. So I imagine these are the sleeping quarters here for an adult no taller than five foot nine. It is in the closet, so now it's a lock yourself in closet, cupboard. Let's shove ourselves in here and go to bed and never wake up. Good night, Elvis. Joel! <laughs> This house would fit me perfectly because it has this built-in rock safe where I could store all my precious turquoise. We found the kitchen table. It seats three, and then I guess you can just plop this thing down and everything goes away. It seems pretty functional. Okay, we're in the shower slash bathroom here. The smell is quite specific. I would like to point out this beautiful Spanish mosaic tile that we have here, as well as these nice, big, tall marble slabs. Shower head is not Jeremy approved. I would probably give this a four and a half out of 10. It's gonna shoot me right in the throat and make me choke. But I do like the soap holder. It's at eye level, so I could just grab it with my teeth, which is nice. Now we're in the private patio number one, or possibly a dance floor with the alternating color tile we have here. And then of course, beautiful views just seem to go on forever in an undisclosed location. Everybody knows I'm all about protection of the property and these Hurricane Ian rated steel fabricated window coverings and door coverings do not skimp at all, which will ensure that you know any category five hurricane or tornado will not penetrate the property. All right, let's go to the structurally sound second floor. We're on the main patio now. Tons of space, a thousand degree views of all of your empire before you. It's pretty sweet. We've got some, what look to be like some cooking pits. Great counter space for your le barbecue items like some baby back ribs or a nice Norwegian Atlantic salmon. Just off of the patio, we are in the office. 
That's four million years of layers. Lots of possibilities in here. It's nice that they did stucco the shelves and the walls, and you can really do whatever you want in here. I don't know if anyone saw that Jeffrey Dahmer documentary on Netflix, but whatever your hobby is, you can do it. That was dark. Those views, man. A nice wrought iron walkway up to the third and final floor. We did notice a medicine bag in the tree here as well. What do you think is in this bag, might you ask yourself? Well, I did check and to my surprise, it was actually a half smoking joint, so. All right, so now we're in what looks to be the attached in-law unit. I see a lot of very interesting features. For one, we have this showpiece lady leg kitchenette setup which is surprisingly very, very clean. Very neat. We also have this great workbench. I could do a lot of basketry and other arts and crafts. And then the optional chain. You have a lot of security here as well in case intruders do try to penetrate your lair. We also have a very custom skylight that you can actually walk on above, so. Sweet, cedar tan, original cock in the bottle. And it's still soft, still use it, it's 220. $2.20. So I know I promised that this was the final floor, but there's actually another floor up above, so let's keep walking up the stairs. Oh hey, God, you always beat me up to these places. I think it's safe to say that this is the primary bedroom, considering the amount of ample space we have for, let's say, a single bed or a twin. And then you have this overflow into a beautiful deck space that goes straight down into a rock pile. I do like the tile choice. It's definitely that tan color, not quite saltillo tile. So we're in the primary bathroom. There's definitely a lot of organisms growing in the bathtub right now, which is great. Nature will heal itself. And then we have this super compact, simple toilet, which I imagine goes straight down four stories, which by that time, gravity would have pulled pretty hard on whatever is coming out of you. I know it's very cramped quarters in here, but what a really cool place to do your business. Walk around aimlessly. We're in the third and final private smoker's patio. So I imagine Elvis would probably be sitting out here in an Adirondack just smoking capris. I don't know what Elvis would have smoked. Really just blending into the hillside, you've got these upgraded flagstone sheets that are covering what looks to be the gutters up here. All right, I'm sitting down and we're outside, so that means we're doing closing thoughts. So this was an adventure for everyone, including you, I assume. Can't tell you where we are. I know that there were four stories. I know there was an ADU. I know that there were two bedrooms. I know there was an office and a lot of smoking area outside. I think all of that considered, there are no neighbors around. All I hear are the birds. All I see are these lovely uh, spruce trees. Are they spruce or what are these? I don't know. What man. are these? Oh, do you Junipers. Juniper, okay, yeah, all right. We've got a lot of beautiful junipers around here. We got a nice dry creek bed down below, no neighbors. A Couple of improvements I'd probably suggest to make is definitely reinforcing all the patio space. Maybe bring up a couple 50 pound bags of cement. Maybe just replace the screen on this sliding glass door and bring some bug spray. Other than that, I think you're pretty much move-in ready. There you go.